Christophe Gaultier has announced that Lionel Messi will be leaving PSG this summer. But in a late twist in the tale, club chiefs have rebuked these claims. During his pre-match press conference ahead of PSG's encounter with Clermont, the French tactician revealed that it would be Le Polga's last game at the Parc des Princes. J'ai eu le privilège de diriger le meilleur joueur de l'histoire du football. Demain, c'est son dernier match au, au Parc des Princes. J'ose espérer qu'il sera, qu sera accueilli de la meilleure des façons. Assessing Le Polga's time at the club, Gaultier was quick to heap praise on the star. And it was a moment that served as a somewhat farewell. Il a toujours été au, au service de l'équipe, toujours au service du jeu, de l'animation, d'être le passeur, le finisseur. Et que, je le répète encore une fois, pour l'entraîneur que je suis, ça a été un grand privilège, non pas de l'entraîner, euh, de l'accompagner tout au long de la saison. However, just minutes later, the PSG press office assured AFP that Christophe Gaultier had incorrectly expressed himself by saying that the game against Clermont would be Lionel Messi's last at the Parc des Princes for PSG. Lionel Messi's future at the club has been a topic of intense scrutiny in recent weeks. With his current deal in the French capital set to expire on the 30th of June, he's yet to make any other announcement on his next steps. According to the latest reports from Le Parisien, there's nothing to suggest that the 2022 World Cup winner will be staying at PSG. Questioned relentlessly on this topic, current Barca boss Xavi revealed that he believes Messi will make a decision in the coming days. Speaking to Mundo Deportivo, he reassured both La Polga and the club's fans that Lionel Messi would be welcomed back at the Camp Nou with open arms. I've already said it on a number of occasions, the door is always open, but at the end of the day, we need to leave him to it. He wants to finish in the best way. His contract is coming to an end, and he deserves the chance to finish his career wherever he wants. But understandably, Xavi would be ecstatic if that was in Catalonia. Well, at that point, from a contractual standpoint, that doesn't concern me. But if at the end, the coach has to give the okay for him to come, he's got the go-ahead 100%. Messi's former teammate then added that he expects the Argentine to make an announcement very shortly. Next week he'll make a decision, then you can leave him alone. Several clubs have been in hot pursuit of Lionel Messi's services in recent months. But Mercato have even suggested that his entourage have accepted a stratospheric offer from Saudi Arabian club Al Halal to the tune of 1.2 billion euros. That said, the general consensus seems to be that Messi would prefer a return to boyhood club Barcelona. However, their financial frailties could put a stop to any move. Another man back to make a big money move to Saudi Arabia now is Karim Benzema. And in ever cryptic fashion, he refused to neither authenticate or deny these claims. Speaking to Marca, he evoked recent speculation on his future. ¿Por qué voy a hablar de un futuro si estoy en Madrid? Sí, pero lo que habla es Internet, y la realidad no es Internet. KB9 soon elaborated by expressing his pride at the 14-year association he's had with the club, one which has included a long line of both individual and collective accolades. I'm really proud of my career. I'll always remember the day I signed for Real Madrid. When I was a kid, it was my dream to play for this club. Despite the claims that Benzema will be leaving the Bernabeu this summer, Marca have announced that the 2022 Ballon d'Or winner will be signing a one-year extension with Los Merengues. Okay, that's all from us for today, but we'll be back again shortly for more news from the footballing world. In the meantime, take care, and as always, football forever.